Hi all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have two tragic stories to share with you about children who lost their precious lives while in a babysitter's care. Sorry to scare the crap out of you parents out there, but these are tragic stories of lives lost way too soon, parents' nightmares that need to be told. The first story is about a precious three-year-old in Flint, Michigan, who lost his life not as a result of something his babysitter did, but because of who his babysitter was. The story began on October 3rd of 2020, when police in Flint say they were called to the scene of a shooting, where they found 45-year-old Jackie L. Nico Jones shot and killed in her vehicle on Mohawk Avenue. Nineteen days later, on October 22nd, shots were fired into a home on Oklahoma Avenue, where three-year-old Messiah Williams was being cared for by a babysitter while his parents slept on the second floor above. Police say that one of the bullets that entered his home struck little Messiah while he was in his living room, killing him. The Genesee County prosecutor issued charges for four suspects they believed were involved in the shooting that took little Messiah's life and police announced that the shooting was not random. It was targeted. But little three-year-old Messiah was not the target. His babysitter was. Once they put it together, the prosecutor made the following statement. The suspects thought that somebody in the residence, the babysitter, was the brother of the person who committed the homicide and since they were unable to find the person who committed the homicide, let me say that again. Since they were unable to find the person who committed the homicide, they went after this person. Except they missed this person and killed the three-year-old. So in other words, it was a revenge killing to retaliate against the person who killed Jones 19 days earlier and a three-year-old was made a victim because the real killer couldn't be located. So the person's brother was going to be good enough. Except they missed him. So a three-year-old then became good enough. You know, as long as blood got spilled and instant gratification was had by all. In even more words, a no-doubt senseless murder took place in Flint, Michigan, on October 3rd of 2020, that started the countdown on the lifespan of an innocent three-year-old who had nothing to do with the street war that lasted 19 days. Messiah's parents' lives were completely altered on October 3rd of 2020 by a murder they had nothing to do with and maybe didn't even have knowledge of because it started the countdown to their own innocent child's death and they had no idea. Their precious baby's blood was shed as revenge for a murder they probably knew nothing about. One of the suspects involved in Messiah's murder, 25-year-old Deshaun Davis, who police say is the son of the original murder victim, Jackie L. Jones, was arrested and arraigned on December 12th and charged with conspiracy to commit first-degree murder and conspiracy to discharge a firearm in or at a building causing death. Two other suspects were captured in Atlanta, Georgia, and according to police, one is still at large. Of the three other suspects, two are 20 years old, and one is only 21. Police are not releasing the names of the other three suspects because they have not yet been arraigned, but it doesn't matter what their names are any of them, because they aren't human. They're monsters. So, I'll just refer to them as monsters 1, 2, 3, and 4. Hopefully they will all fry for taking that precious little boy's life for their own petty satisfaction. Because they couldn't find the actual murderer they were looking for, and they were too impatient to wait until they found him to enact the revenge. Want to know how stupid these monsters actually are? They put an innocent three-year-old in the grave. 
but the man who actually murdered Davis's mother is still at large. Brilliant. Rest in peace, baby boy. You were too good for this world. And to think, we actually try to convince our children that monsters aren't real. Maybe not under their beds or in their closets, but they are, in cars, driving by their homes, with guns, as they play in their living rooms. Now, on to another horror story about a baby who lost her life while in her babysitter's care in Georgia. Police in Sandy Springs, Georgia, launched an investigation on December 9th of 2020 after receiving a medical call about an unresponsive child. Responders rushed two-year-old Fallon Fridley to the hospital, where she was pronounced dead. When police questioned 29-year-old Kirsty Flood, who was babysitting little Fallon at the time of her death, she told them she hit her head on the slide at the playground. But doctors who examined little Fallon determined that that was not the case. So, Flood was arrested. When police searched her phone, they claimed they found internet searches for what type of people enjoy abusing other people's children and what does it mean to have a sudden urge to beat a child that is not yours. Very, very sick. And on top of that, Fallon's mother, Kristen Fridley, who is obviously going through hell, told the news that Flood was a close friend of their families and that she's been Fallon's full-time babysitter since August. Absolutely horrifying. I shudder to think what that precious baby probably went through at the hands of that evil demon. Then her mother made a statement that should send chills down your spine. She said, It's like this evil was in front of my face for years, and I never saw it. Makes you think, doesn't it? How do we ever know when it's safe to trust anyone? Flood has been charged with two counts of felony murder, one count of malice murder, one count of aggravated battery, and one count of cruelty to children in the first degree. A judge has denied her bond. And if it wasn't for all the pesky laws in the U.S. that say she's innocent until proven guilty, I'd suggest we just deny her a defense. Period. Then lock her up with some people who don't take too kindly to people who murdered children and tell the world she died an accidental death because she hit her head on a slide on the prison playground. Sounds fair to me. You know, turnabout's fair play as far as I'm concerned. Rest in peace, baby girl. You too were too good for this world. Now, while I'm on the subject of assholes who murder children, I thought it would be a good time to let you know that Megan Boswell, the egg donor of and suspected murderer of precious little 15-month-old Evelyn May Boswell, appeared in court earlier this month for a status update. During the hearing, the defense said they are still going through all the discovery with baby Evelyn's egg donor, and they informed the judge of their intent to file for a change of venue for her upcoming trial. The judge rescheduled the hearing for January 22, 2021, at 9 a.m., where the state is expected to inform the court of their intentions with regard to pursuing advanced punishment or a death penalty sentence for Boswell in this case. I just thought I'd update you, in case you hadn't heard, because I know so many people have been interested in the case. And one more thing before I go, just in case I haven't ruined your day, night, etc. enough yet, according to news reports, the Children's Recovery Center in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, claims that they are currently operating on a shoestring budget and are uncertain how long they will be able to operate in the future because they are a center where children are sent by police when they suspect they have been abused. The center is facing financial difficulties because they say they have seen a steady increase of abused children, 20% or more per year for the last six years. 
so many, in fact, that they needed to open a second interview room and hire a second interviewer to prevent long wait times for children to get the help they need. Let that sink in. They're seeing more and more cases every year. God help us. You know what? There's no point in telling our children that monsters don't exist anymore. Why lie to them? Maybe instead of telling them they don't exist, we need to tell ourselves that they do. We're the ones who need to be afraid. They're everywhere. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time, and I'll see you on my next video.